Hello, I'm Mr Burton and today we are going to be looking at the Law of Demand and the reasons behind the Law of Demand. The Law of Demand states that as the price of a good or service goes down, the quantity demanded goes up. Now there are two specific reasons why that happens. These are the income effect and the substitution effect. Let's look at the income effect first. Income effect assumes that we have a fixed income as consumers, and so our incomes aren't changing every day. We have a fixed amount of income. Let's say we have an income of uh, 60 pounds. We are only able to buy a certain amount of goods or services. So in this case, we're looking at the demand for cola. And um, with my income at 60 pounds, I am able therefore to buy 10 bottles of cola when the price is six pounds, okay? Because I have 60 pounds uh, as, as my income, and therefore, if the price is six pounds, I'm able to buy uh, 10 cans of cola, and we assume I'm also willing to buy those cans as well. As the price goes up from six pounds to eight pounds, I'm no longer able to buy the 10 cans of cola I was before, because I cannot afford to, because I only have 60 pounds of income. Therefore, my demand has to reduce to around seven cans. So this effect on income, or the income effect, shows why as the price of a good or service goes up, the demand for that good or service has to go down, given that we have a fixed amount of income. But why then, as the price goes down, do we demand more? Well, in economics, we have to assume that everything else is equal. So if I demand a certain amount of cola, let's say 10 cans at six pounds, then the price goes down to four pounds, I assume that everything else is equal. So I have more income, and therefore I spend more of my income on more cans of cola. In reality, of course, I might spend my extra income on other things, but we assume in this case that the cheaper price of cola means more income, more money to spend on cola, higher demand of cola. The other reason for the law of demand is the substitution effect. Now the substitution effect simply tells us that as the price of cola goes down, in this case from eight pounds to six pounds, that's gonna make all other similar products seem relatively more expensive. So being a rational consumer, if all other products are now more relatively expensive uh, than cola, I'm clearly going to buy more cola. I'm going to go into the supermarket, see that cola has dropped in price and that all other similar products are assumed to stay the same price. Uh, and I'm going to therefore buy more cola in, and put it into my basket. Uh, and so that shows us that if the price of a good falls and every other similar good stays the same in their price, uh, Keteris paribus happens, then we're going to demand more of that product that has dropped in price. So we have now seen why the law of demand is true, why demand is downward sloping, and that's because of both the income effect and the substitution effect. These two concepts are really important to remember when thinking about the downward sloping demand curve and the reasons behind the law of demand. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe below and comment for any other topics you want me to cover in my next videos.